Oh, 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 now that is very exciting. This isn't one to put in your wildlife garden. Who would have thought it? Yeah, this is a giant hogweed, which is a plant that uh, terrifies people across the country. Um, it can be absolutely brutal because when it's living, this is the dead uh, form of flowering stem. You can see the massive flower head here. When it's living, it's got a very coarsely hairy, almost spiny stem. Big leaves, huge leaves, like a massive rhubarb. Very coarsely hairy. And it causes a really nasty reaction in people's skin. And it's also, it also photosensitizes the skin, so you get nasty permanent scarring, potentially. But it spreads very quickly because you've got all these seed heads. You can imagine that all these are going to be big, Umbels, as we call them, white flowers. That's the umbel there. Huge number of seeds. I did surveys back in the 1990s in the city of Hull uh, on derelict sites. And this, I mean, we're only hop, skip and a jump from Hull here. Um, and I got urban, what we call urban common sites, so wasteland in the urban commons, absolutely dominated by this. They're like a forest of giant hogweed. And the kids were loving it. They were playing in it. And I've even seen kids taking the, the top bit of the stem, which if I, if I, nice and hollow. And you can use this as a pea shooter or a, a blow gun. And I've seen kids doing that. And you end up with all sorts of nasty effects around the mouth. But kids, kids loved it. 